fusion, uh, which is actually the process that powers the stars, is no longer science fiction. Recent breakthroughs have brought us close to harnessing this clean, limitless energy source. A Princeton-led team working with Oak Ridge National Lab and armed with AI, artificial intelligence, predicts and avoids plasma instabilities in real time within fusion reactors. So just take a moment and imagine a world where fusion reactors hum silently, providing unlimited energy to everyone in the world without any harmful emissions. And startups like Sam Altman of OpenAI, his investment of $375 million promises fusion plants within the next five years. Just think about that for a minute. Imagine how this will change our society, change the entire face of our society. When electricity is free, electric vehicles charge as they roll along, sky is clear because emissions have dropped drastically. Remember what it was like during the pandemic and everyone was working from home or a lot of people were working from home and the sky is cleared up. A lot of that will be what's, ha what's happening as a result of fusion power. But fusion power is just one piece of the puzzle. Artificial intelligence is fundamentally altering the fabric of our existence, even today. And we're just getting started with it. It's just just at the beginning of, of AI. But AI accelerates our potential by reshaping our world. Its power extends far beyond chatbots. It permeates scientific exploration, government, economic landscapes, finance, you name it, and AI will be a part of it. Yet, as AI infiltrates every facet of our lives, we confront a paradox. Automation threatens traditional work roles, challenging our relevance. However, we possess the, the, the capacity to tr transcend these uncertainties. Our value add within us lies not in competing with AI, but complementing it and letting it complement us. We become architects of AI-driven systems, shaping their ethical foundations and ensuring transparency and safeguarding against biases that may be brought to bear on these AI systems. In this century of rapid change, we are Prometheus' torchbearers. We wield AI's fire to illuminate the path forward, forging a harmonious coexistence between human ingenuity and artificial intelligence. As we adapt, we rise above uncertainty, embracing our role as stewards of this digital Prometheus, guiding its flames towards a brighter future. But you gotta brace yourselves for an AI renaissance, because that's what's coming. AI-driven drug discovery, climate modeling, personalized medicine. Say goodbye to slow clinical trials. AI accelerates progress in every facet of our lives. And imagine how much faster that will occur when electricity is free. In the realm of scientific discovery, AI and machine learning act as our modern day alchemists. Researchers now traverse an expansive terrain of ideas, unearthing hidden patterns and accelerating through the breakthroughs. In medicine, AI analyzes vast data sets, predicting diseases, optimizing treatments, and enhancing patient care. Climate modeling benefits from AI's prowess, enabling us to comprehend complex environmental dynamics and devise sustainable solutions. And I know that we see climate change in every, in every mainstream media talking about it, and it becomes overwhelming. It becomes fearful. Don't, don't fear it. We can do something about it. Nations will wield AI as a diplomatic weapon. The U.S. aims to lead, investing heavily in AI innovation, but governments worldwide recognize AI's strategic significance. 
It transcends technological novelty, becoming a cornerstone of foreign policy, economic resilience, and geopolitical leadership. These nations will vie for supremacy in AI research, understanding that mastery in this domain shapes their destiny. As AI shapes our lives, we will grab, grapple with privacy issues, bias, and accountability. AI-driven experiences, personalized shopping, virtual companions, and predictive healthcare. In fact, AI is already working to make doctors more productive by capturing notes to leave the doctor free to actually listen to their patients. It's happening right now. I want to tell you some history on AI. There's called the Turing test. The Turing test was originally proposed by Alan Turing in 1950, and it serves as a method to assess a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to or even indistinguishable from that of a human. So let's talk a little bit about the details on that on the Turing test. In this thought experiment, an evaluator engages in natural language conversations, kind of like we're doing right now. You're probably talking to me on the other side of this, this camera. The evaluator is aware that one of the participants is a machine, but they're separated from each other, communicating only through a text-based channel, such as a computer keyboard or a screen. And the goal is for the evaluator to determine which partner is the human and which is the machine based solely on their responses to questions. So the Turing test does not focus on the machine's ability to provide correct answers, but rather it centers on how closely its answers resembles those a human would give. If the evaluator can't reliably distinguish between the human and the machine, the machine is considered to have passed the test. So in essence, the Turing test challenges us to explore whether machines can convincingly simulate human intelligence, blurring the boundaries between artificial and human cognition. The Turing test extends beyond chatbots. It's about our humanity. It's about how we see ourselves and what we expect from ourselves going forward. Will we work with, the, with AI? We will, will we work with fusion? Will we work with these technologies to make our lives better? Or will we fear it and put it down and, and legislate against it? I think that our better, better nature will make us understand that these are things that benefit mankind. N nothing to fear here. Fusion power and AI are twin engines propelling us into a brighter future. As we ride this wave, let's remember that technology is a tool. Our choices define its impact. So let's build a world where fusion and AI dance harmoniously, illuminating our path forward. Remember, the future isn't written. We're co-authors. Thanks for joining us on this visionary voyage. Until next time, stay curious, stay connected, and keep dreaming, dreaming big. I also wanted to thank you for watching this and invite you to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Uh, it helps us a lot. Thank you so much.